What's up, everybody? I'm Gmo Frenzy, bringing you another weekly dose of what? So, can you guess who likes to have one too many and then go beat up on his woman? This guy. Over here. Nicholas Mullins just spent four years in prison after beating up his girlfriend after hitting the hooch a little too hard at the Sands Resort Casino Bethlehem. Apparently, he gave her such a good beating that she got brain swelling and almost died. That's called attempted murder, kids. Yeah. So now he's dedicated the rest of his life to loving her and taking care of her and whatever she needs because saying I'm sorry for almost killing you will never be enough is what I would like to say. Instead, he's doing the American thing and suing that damn casino for giving him too many free drinks while gambling. And as if that wasn't bad enough already, the argument with his woman caused him to suffer from a broken nose and a kick to the balls. But according to Nicholas, he's the real long-term victim here because now he can't find a job since his conviction. Oh well, it looks like a law-abiding, woman-respecting, moderate-drinking man is gonna take your gerb! As it turns out, Nicholas is actually a Navy veteran who claims to suffer from PTSD, which is a real thing that needs professional help. But he says that the Sands Casino should have known that, and they should have also known that he had previously drank at another casino to the point of alcohol poisoning, and they still gave him at least 15 free drinks despite those facts even though they didn't know. Because it's their job to ask every customer if it's okay to serve them alcohol in case they have some sort of medical condition? Hell no! You're a grown ass man! Know when to say no! That's not their job! Their job is to booze you up and take your money! And break your fingers if they catch you cheating! Nicholas also said that his lady friend attacked him after he lost $800 and he slapped her in self defense. Slapped her. That's it. A taste of the back of me hand. Turns out slap means punch in the head again and again in this case. But I could be wrong. Let's see, dictionary slap. Uh, oh, here we go. To hit someone with a closed fist repeatedly or until out of breath, and if brain swelling does not occur, then you did it wrong. Huh. If this guy was actually defending himself though, I think a slap or two would have worked. I am a firm believer in that there's two sides to every story and it's such a double standard that a guy can't hit a woman in self-defense. But I actually see it as a form of equality, treating you ladies with respect. Boys have feelings too and sometimes you just need to fight back. But I also believe that you should never hit a woman. But if it does come to that, don't smack the woman until they make a lifetime movie out of it. You know, but just enough to get the point across. So let me know what you guys think about this situation. Is this Nicholas guy doing the right thing by suing the casino that ruined his life or giving him too many drinks that led him to beating up his girlfriend? Because that's how I like to celebrate when I get free booze. Feel free to subscribe, rate, and share this video. Thank you all for watching. You guys rock, and I'll be seeing all of you later.